On the last episode of Playhouse Hunters, we met three-year-old Aria, who was looking for a cozy cottage close to home. Her transformation was so amazing, she decided to join the team. So find that one house and fix it. Time to get the work. Let's do this. On this week's episode of Playhouse Hunters. We are back with another playhouse makeover, and this time we're making over this little tyke's playhouse. Last time we did this giant step two playhouse. This time we're getting a much smaller one. We got it on Facebook Market for $30. Sometimes you can find them for free. And the coolest thing is that this one has identical entrances on both sides, so you can make them over in two styles. I highly recommend taking a flathead screwdriver because you are gonna have to remove some screws and some pieces. Also a little bag to keep these pieces in so they don't get lost. This is really easy to take apart. Something else you might want to take with you is a giant drop cloth so you don't get all the debris in your trunk. This does fit in a pretty large trunk with the seats down or a pickup truck. The last one was really big so we needed a van to transport it to our home. So we're gonna take it home and this time Aria has joined the team and we're gonna start off by cleaning this thing. Now it is in pretty good condition. You can wash it with soap and water or LA's Totally Awesome, but I highly recommend a pressure cleaner. This removes all of those stubborn stickers that are really, really hard to remove. And you can get this at Home Depot for 25 bucks. You can rent it or you can buy a really affordable one if you are flipping playhouses, it's up to you. Now, anything that was left over by the pressure washer, because it does remove the stickers, but not all of them, I used a combination of Goo Gone and LA's Totally Awesome, and I just let it sit there and then guided it with a little spatula to remove it, and this helped a whole lot. For smaller areas, I just took a little bit of Goo Gone on a rag and rubbed it down really well and then used something to scrape it. You can literally use anything. And then I wiped that down with LA's Totally Awesome so that none of the oil stays behind. So there is no reason for that spray paint not to stick. By the way, I do recommend keeping the shutters and doors in while you're cleaning. It just makes it a lot easier. You can clean again when you take it out, but this just made it easier and taking it out is really, really easy. As you can see, Aria's doing her thing with the roof and Alex is actually removing the doors and shutters for me. These come out really easily. You just kind of pull lightly from the bottom and they pop right out. They actually pop right back in with no problem either. Totally different than our last house. You can clean the pieces again now that they're pulled apart. Just make sure that they're totally dry before attempting to paint. We always put them on cloth rather than plastic so that it doesn't pull up paint as it dries. And this time we went with Krylon Fusion. This is a paint and primer. Thank you to everyone who recommended this in the comments because this stuff really does rock. You can save yourself a lot of money by keeping the house the original beige and just priming everything else, but we really wanted to change the color of this house since we kept the last one its original color. Aria? Yes? Are you on a lunch break? Yeah. Why? Because I lunch break. But it's time to get to work. <laughs> one eternity later. Now it's time to prime the roof. Now I'm gonna keep the inside white so it's brighter on the inside of the house. And I'm gonna just prime the outside so that my paint sticks, but that is actually unnecessary because the paint that we're using for the outside is actually a paint and prime as well, and it's Krylon Fusion. So once that dries, we're gonna use some deep gray, and this is a Color Max. This covers beautifully, so for both pieces, I only needed one can and I had left over. And as you can see, Aria is just enjoying her break while her mama works. Make sure that you're also painting the little pieces on the roof. And I'm also gonna take advantage and paint the door. I'm also using a Krylon Color Max, but the door is primed with that Krylon Fusion, and I did give it two coats. Working with Aria has been interesting. Very interesting. Like sometimes I get the feeling she doesn't really know what she's doing. Mm. Oh, what are you making? Um, some cookies. You're making cookies? Yeah. And she takes a whole lot of lunch breaks. Are you on 
lunch break? Again? Yeah. A lot. I in my house break. Okay. It is day two, and we really wanted to add a unique touch to this, so I found some multi-surface paint. This is meant for outdoor and also for plastic, and I use these two shades of gray. With a sponge brush, both Aria and myself just started patting on the darker gray and then going over it with a lighter gray, making sure that our sponge was pretty light. The indentation of the brick is so deep that you can pounce on there pretty heavily and it won't mess up the project at all and you can always wipe it down. It is the perfect way to get your kids involved if you are making this over for them or just to get them involved in general. You just want to dab on the color, kind of diffuse it, and then if it's too dark, put your lighter color on top and you can always seal it if it's for outdoor with some sort of acrylic sealant or clear sealant. So now I am going to move on to some of the accessories and I bought this crate at Michael's for $5.49. I used a coupon and I'm going to drill four holes in what will be the back side. This house is really thin plastic so you don't want to use regular screws for this. I'll show you when I put it together what we used. But for the other side I wanted to cover up that gap so with Gorilla Wood glue and a 15 gallon paint stick which I cut down to size I just placed it in the middle so it looked a little nicer and then I used this spray paint to spray paint it simply because it's the same spray paint that I'm going to be using for the shutters, the mailbox on one side, the other side is going to be made over completely different. Also this plant hook which I purchased at Lowe's, super affordable, I don't remember the price though, and these mini lanterns which I got on clearance for five bucks for the entire pack. To make them a little bit more kid friendly, I just popped off all of the glass. They do come off on all four sides and then I went ahead and spray painted them that same gold. Papa, why are you doing my fork? <laughs> Bobby here! So now it's time to assemble and this house assembles like a dream. So easy and it's nice and small so you can fit this in a bedroom if you want. Cheese. Now we did keep two panels blank because we're going to make over one side one way, one the other. And with a chalk pen, we're just making the marks for the crate. My husband's going to drill in those pilot holes. And what we're going to use to actually hold this together are these machine screws. Now I'm going to list everything in the description. These are the ones that we're going to use for the crate and also for the number. So we're just going to pop them in to where the actual flathead side is facing the inside and anything that protrudes is going to be inside of the crate. And then you can hand screw it. Make sure that you tighten it really well afterwards so that nothing loosens up. And once it's tightened, you can go ahead and put your flowers or whatever you're putting in there. But this is nice and kid safe once it is tight. So now we're going to do the same thing for the plant hook. Now this one does have a bigger machine screw. So this is the one, I'll list it in the description. And we're going to do the exact same thing, only the protruding side is going to be on the inside. This is a little high up and it's flat, so it's no big deal. For the numbers, we did get numbers at Lowe's. They have different prices, but I did choose this gold one and I spray painted it again so it matched the rest of the pieces. Drilled in some pilot holes and then I'm going to use the same machine screws for the crate. It is the same exact pack so we didn't have to buy an extra one. And the protruding side is going to be on the inside of the house. But like I said, it's flat so no big deal. Make sure that you tighten it so that no loose pieces come apart. I had this knob which I also purchased at Lowe's. If you watched my last video, I did make a little rig to where you can have a knob on the inside on the outside. So you can do that with really, really small machine screws, but I just used this and used a much smaller screw than what it originally came with. So now we put the roof on and this gray is amazing. None of it chipped. I was actually really, really, really happy. This color max and color fusion combo is heaven sent. 
And once we were done, we had this gorgeous transformation and I really, really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you'd like us to do to the backside if you want us to turn it into a little candy shop or a little hospital. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you so much and we'll hopefully see you on the next one.